Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Crashed Insanity and today we will be talking about the Doji Mix. So in 2016 the Mi Mix was launched which was probably one of the best looking phones released last year and it is probably the best phone that was released ever according to us. However, this year just a couple of months into 2017 the Doji has come out with a three-sided bezel-less display phone which is considered to be a clone of the MI Mix. Let's talk about the Doji Mix and see whether it is worth it or it's just a ripoff of the MI Mix. So the Doji Mix sounds pretty similar to the MI Mix and it has taken inspiration from the Xiaomi's Mi Mix. However, there are some notable differences. The Doji Mix sports a 5.5 inch Full HD AMOLED screen. However, the MI Mix actually had a 6.4 inch Full HD IPS display. Now, this might be a deal breaker to some of the viewers because it has a smaller screen. However, we also believe that the smaller screen size is much easier to handle than the Mammoth 6.4 inch screen which is present in the Mi Mix. When we look at the design of the entire phone, we personally prefer the Doji Mix over the Mi Mix. Notably because the Mi Mix has the fingerprint sensor and the unlock button behind the screen and Doji Mix managed to keep it in front on the device and that's how personally we prefer it and I've been saying it in all my videos that a clicky button on the front is what I personally like. And it's not just about the personal preference. When you're keeping the phone down on the table, the first thing that you can reach out to on the front of the device is the fingerprint sensor where you can just unlock the phone and start using it. On other phones and newer phones, nowadays it's placed behind every phone and that sometimes can tend to get a little tedious because you have to pick up the phone and then switch it on instead of just accessing it right there on the table. Now both these screens have a three side bezel less display and the most notable difference and something that we think is better in the Doji Mix is that they retained the speaker on the front of the phone. Now you can directly take calls without relying on the sonar technology that the Mi Mix has. Now we're not saying that the sonar technology is bad in any way, however it is too new to actually be accepted worldwide. Because number one that you actually really have to press the phone hard against your ear to hear the sonar actually vibrate and make sounds. Now this is a very good technology but it will take time to refine and the sound quality and the sound volume on the Mi Mix is considered to be lesser than what is available in normal flagship phones or normal phones for that matter and thankfully Doji managed to retain the speaker grill and the speaker on the front of the phone. When we talk about the specifications there are a lot of differences between both the phones. On the specs both devices look promising. Both these phones with a similarity in looks also have the specifications which are pretty similar. The Doji Mix sports a MediaTek P25 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of inbuilt storage. The Mi Mix on the other hand has a more powerful processor which is the Snapdragon 821 with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Both these phones come with a dual SIM slot but on day to day usage these processors might not make be a deal breaker or make much of a difference while using only the hardcore gamers and the hardcore phone users would notice a difference between both the processors. Both these phones do, do come with Android 7.1 right out of the box these days and we still have to wait, what, wait for the MI Mix 2 and see what that brings to the table. The camera on the 2G Mix is a dual setup camera of a 16 megapixel sensor and an 8 megapixel sensor whereas the Mi Mix only had one sensor of 16 megapixel. However, both these phones actually give a subpar performance when it comes to camera because it's not the megapixels that matter while taking a picture. It's a software integration as well. A Samsung or an Apple with a 12 megapixel camera can put out much better pictures than a dual camera setup in the 2G Mix or the Mi Mix. And that has been a problem with uh, Chinese manufacturers that the picture quality does not come out very well because the software integration and the software processing is not that great. OnePlus has done an amazing job with it in the OnePlus 3T and we still have to see whether Xiaomi picks up and these other Chinese manufacturers can actually 
incorporate better software and better processing for their images. When we look at the price of both these phones, now both these phones are amazing to look at and amazing to feel. I would buy both of them or just any one of them purely based on the looks of these phones. These phones stand out of the crowd, stand out of anything that has ever been made and they bring personality back to smartphones. Now, when we look at the pricing of these phones, the Mi Mix actually is above $500 on multiple retail websites. I would, was able to find it for about $624. However, here is where things get interesting. The Doji Mix giving pretty much the same performance, same looks, at a better package and a smaller package at about $200. Now, in India, this phone can be imported easily from Chinese websites and different websites for about 15,000 bucks. Now that, now this is a deal maker for me. The Doji Mix would be available for just about 15,000 bucks after importing it and paying duty. However, the Mi Mix would be about $624, which translates roughly to around 40,000 Indian rupees, which is really expensive and it is a deal breaker for two major reasons. Number one, there will not be any support overseas for the Mi Mix. The same case remains for Doji Mix, however, the price does compensate enough for it. Another thing that I personally prefer in the Doji Mix is the retention of the home button on the front along with the fingerprint sensor as well as retention of the speaker grill, which both are missing in the Mi Mix. Now, even if a year later or six months later the Doji Mix does tend to have problems, it's just a cheap phone that you can easily replace, but for the looks, I think Doji gets a thumbs up and I'm definitely going to pick it up as soon as it is released in the international market in China. And do let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer to buy a Doji Mix or would you wait for the Mi Mix 2 or go in for the Mi Mix? Now do let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for more insane videos. I keep updating a lot of content on my channel on a weekly basis. So do give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and stay tuned for more insane videos. Also guys, I do a lot of uh, content on technology and I do a lot of magic tricks. So stay tuned and we'll be doing much more giveaways in the coming weeks and I will see you next time.